This is a snorkel mask I made with its own built-in air system, so you can breathe underwater. It's got a bunch of other features as well, and I made an underwater jet pack to go with it. And it is all held together with flex tape and flex glue. So how did this project start? Let's throw it back about six months to when I got an email from Flex Seal. Wait, no, it goes back further than that. Throw it back another year to when I made a boat made out of flex tape. Strap some electric jets on it too. A lot of fun, would recommend. But as it so happens, that project paid off because guess who saw that video and reached out? I think it's pretty obvious at this point, but Flex Seal. Yeah. They offered to send me a bunch of flex tape and flex glue and stuff if I built a project using it. Uh, yes, please. So then I asked you guys what you wanted to see me make. Remember, this is all before the pandemic. Uh, remember that? When you could go outside without saying things like, I forgot my mask. Like, who am I, Spider-Man? Not yet, I'm not. A lot of you wanted me to make something that goes underwater. A lot of submarine and scuba stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. As always though, if you like this video, all I ask, all I ask is that you comment an idea for what I should make next or upload a cool idea that you already see down there. Cause that's what keeps the series going. Also drop a like if you want and subscribe. I can go through all the comments and it's funny when I find ones that say stuff like this. Yeah, I see them all. Now, but I also wanna thank you guys for the super positive feedback on my last video. It's really awesome to see you guys enjoying the stuff and getting inspired by these videos. Speaking of that though, here's some projects that you guys made and sent to me on my Instagram, which you should follow. Always love to see what you're making, so keep DMing me those projects and uh, let's get into this build. So here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna make a mask with a mini scuba tank. The mask is gonna be held together by flex glue and flex tape. Also some 3D printing will be necessary to give it structure. And I'm also gonna throw in a few other uh, secret features. So I am gonna be starting with a face shield of a regular snorkel mask. It's one part we can't manufacture ourselves. But we're gonna print the rest and flex seal it up. Box one. How's my hair? Your hair is doesn't matter because I got this hat. <laughs> I have to complete the outfit. Oh, All right. Dirty dog. This is what I've always dreamed of. Becoming Phil Swift. I Phil Swift here. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. So here is the mask. <laughs> Looking cool. There's a lot of stuff I crammed in here. First, we got the lights, <laughs> obviously. So we had to 3D print sort of a new structure to um, hold all the electronics and such. And then of course we flex taped it all up. So we've got lights in here, we've got a laser, and we've got another light, and then we've got a communication system. All right, so the first lights are ones around the side. Because the water we're swimming in won't be totally clear, I'm hoping these lights really pop out and uh, sort of illuminate the water around us. I think hopefully it's gonna look sweet. So we've got the secondary light right here. So that's activated with a button on the side. So whenever it gets a little dark, just press this button. Super bright LED. And of course we had to throw in the laser too. And the last feature of this mask is the communication system. Uh, essentially just waterproof walkie talkies. So inside the mask, we've got a microphone right down in here, and then we've got the uh, talk button. It's this little tiny piece right there. So you press this like you would press on a walkie-talkie when you want to talk. You can have people on the surface or actually diving with you if you make another one of these masks uh, that you can talk with. It's pretty cool. I was gonna put like a heads-up display in here, but honestly, that's really complicated and deserves its own separate video. Oh yeah, and you can use this to breathe underwater. So the way that works is the snorkel mask, like the face shield comes with two ports that normally would hook on snorkels. So we left one of those just like in my last video. Use this as like a regular snorkel mask still, but in this other port, this is where the mini scuba tank goes. Um, so like in my last video, you can just stick it onto the side if you want, but I ended up doing it a little bit different in this one. First, a little disclaimer, because every time I do scuba projects on this channel, I always get a bunch of angry comments saying, this is super dangerous and don't ever do this. So I'm just gonna try and be a little bit more clear this time about what I'm doing. First, don't attempt anything like this if you don't know what you're doing. That's all at your own risk. Scuba diving is no joke. There's a whole bunch of things that can go wrong. Nitrogen absorbing into your blood and bubbling out. Uh, if you surface too fast, your lungs can pop. This air 
is very compressed if you dive deep underwater. So that being said, the mini dive tank I'm using is a registered product. It's a mini emergency scuba tank with a regulator uh, that we just plugged into the side of my mask. I won't be going any deeper than 10 feet and the tank is small so I won't be able to breathe underwater for very long. So this should mitigate the nitrogen problems and also exhaling on the ascent will ensure you're not gonna pop your lungs. So the mask is cool and all, but uh, you know it'd be way cooler if we didn't have to swim. Like I just wanna fly around underwater like with a jetpack or something. Pop online, grab one of these sea scooters. And uh, the only thing better than one sea scooter, two sea scooters. One underwater sea scooter. Holy. Wow, what tool should I use? It's the wrong one. <laughs> you chose, chose poorly. <laughs> Make this like look like a cool yeah, opening ready? montage, ready? Yeah. This one's already open, but we'll just like pretend like it wasn't. Are these coming out good? Two underwater sea scooters. We're gonna attach them together, put some straps on them, and uh, slap on the mini scuba tank to the back. It just seems more convenient that way. When I told Flex Seal about this, this is the drawing I sent them. You could say I'm a professional. Yo, follow me on LinkedIn. All right, so we can't find the drain, so we're gonna use a little bit of flex tape. Pop this right on here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think it works. Alright, so it looks like they work. Let's drop them together. So now we have to figure out how to connect these. Maybe we use some sort of brace to First, get them secure. It might take a little bit of engineering, actually, to get these things attached, you know, securely. Just kidding. We're gonna keep adding tape until it doesn't fall apart. Bill, what did you put in this batch? Feeling extra sticky. All right, looking pretty solid. Now we gotta add some straps to uh, attach it to our back. Old backpack right here. So now what we have to do is figure out how to attach this. <laughs> Both triggers on, scuba tank on. It's all together, but I still think we need to make it look just a little bit cooler. And here we go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Basically two C scooters we smashed together using that flex. The trigger mechanisms I rerouted to uh, these hand controllers right here. So uh, it's sort of like how a bike brake works or gears or anything. So we pull this lever, it uh, in turn pulls that lever down there. It's got one for this side too. So imagine we're just swimming around underwater. And then of course we have the mini scuba tank on the back. Got a pipe coming off of the scuba tank that just jacks in the side of our snorkel mask. Now we can breathe through the scuba tank and when that air runs out, we can switch on back to the snorkel mask and also call for help too. This is the radio up here. I know this whole thing is made of flex seal, but I did try and do a little bit of uh, aesthetics. Made some cool patterns with uh, silver flex tape that I spray painted and on the engines did a little doodling and came out pretty cool. There's not too much else to say. I think it's that time. Let's go try them out. Oh, she's a big boy. <laughs> First impressions. Oh, good. They're gonna rate the look. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Obviously. Oh, I think she's ready. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go fritting some chili. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
dale, si vamos a quemar You know Pero hay gente que no le gusta que no sea normal mal Estamos en la buena pero con ello es la mala Solo tenemos una vida y que gozarla bebé Hay que gozarla bebé Ella es una tía, una mujer entera Tiene su respeto, ella es la mera mera Pretty chill. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it works. Does it, it look kind of funny? It looks very cool. It's so funny when like the motor, just like these two motors, just come out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> definitely an aesthetic, though. Dude, definitely a flex. <laughs> it is a flex. Flex seal. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go over how everything performed. Flashlight worked great, super easy to press the button on the side. Also the LED green lights around the side held up nicely. Pretty decent waterproofing, good job Flex Seal. They would have definitely looked cooler if I dove a little bit deeper or if I did this at night. Also the laser would have definitely shown up better. Like I was imagining it all being more like this. But like I'm not about to go scuba diving in this river at night. Especially with this setup. Oh yeah, can't forget the communications device. Test out the communication system. Basically just hooked up one receiver to a microphone above ground, so hopefully we could hear what I'm saying. Check, check. What's going on guys, Jake here. Don't know if you can hear. We've got the lights. Like and subscribe. Uh, it worked like two to three feet underwater, but past that it just cut out. I think this is because water is horrible for sending signals through. Sort of thought this might happen, but still cool to try. And after a while, it just stopped working. Like, I don't think these walkie-talkies are as waterproof as they claim. Lastly, the scuba tank worked as expected, but it is a lot of pumping just for a little bit of air. Honestly, breathing underwater is still a sweet feature to have in this whole setup. Oh, and the jets themselves work pretty good. It honestly is a ton of fun just to fly around underwater. You're not gonna be breaking any speed records, but made me feel more like a dolphin than I've ever had in my life. Overall, I'd say fun to mess around with, but not yet practical. So that is about it. A lot happening with this project. I was hoping it'd sort of turn out something like the underwater scene in Iron Man. Honestly, not bad considering it was all held together with tape. So big shout out to Flex Seal for making this happen. Leave a like if you did enjoy this and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.